Hi friends, I'm doing a video today while I do my makeup and I have found that I need to cover some spots. I wanna balance out my face and I don't want it to look like I'm wearing a ton of makeup. So I have found Saint Makeup and Saint Makeup is a cream-based foundation that's all about um, like three-dimensional foundation, so 3D. And they call, they don't actually call it foundation, they call it highlights. Right now I'm putting on one that's called Mango and it's just a color corrector to correct some of the redness or scarring or I have on my face. So you just lightly tap it on in some key points and the key to this makeup is you need to be color matched. I can do that for you so easily. Um, and because everybody has different colors of their skin tones. I know my sisters and I can't wear each other's makeup. Or it would just look like we're wearing a big cakey piece of flat makeup. So with this, we put the corrector on your, on your red spots some of your concerns. Then we put a main shade on. Areas that we're not gonna put, typically it's just one layer of makeup. So I'm gonna put this one on, and it's called Sandy, as my main shade. And really, like it comes in a compact like this with your shades, and you just take your little brush and you tap, tap. Like, you get so little on there to transfer to your face. And so you're not putting a bunch of one-dimensional makeup on your face. So that evens it out. Most people get this makeup and they put it on too heavy. We have this little perfector beauty ball, do they call them? But we call it a perfector. Um, this is a lifesaver because if you just need to tap on to remove any excess and to give you more like that airbrush finish. Um, then we're going to contour and contouring is putting some shadows on your face. And it is not where I put any of my other highlight shades, but you're gonna contour your cheekbones. As we get more mature, you wanna contour up. Um, it gives our, our face a lift. You wanna do around your forehead. Um, and again, and then you want to do your jawline. Brush it down. But I put very little on. Um, also, you contour your nose. <laughs> and then we have a highlight shade. And the highlight shade is where I'm going to put under my eyes here. And this brightens. This is what gives your face the brightening look. Under here in a kind of a triangle. A little heart up here. Down the front of your nose. Your little cupid's bow. Well, a little bit on your chin. And this really just makes everything pop. I also take um, this shade and I'll do my eyelids, give them a little bit of a and you don't need very much at all. I have to get better at talking throughout this and not pausing while I look at what I'm doing because it's like talking and chewing gum and walking and doing more than one thing at once. <laughs> it's a little bit more challenging. Um, so then again, with the perfector, if I have any extra on there, or it's a little too much. Once I've blended it in, I can just take this and just pull off the stuff that's not sitting in your pores. This makeup was designed to just go and absorb in your skin. So you have like one layer of makeup. So that's basically the first layer. Now that was just using four little palettes, um, funky brush. Now I'm just going to put on or lip and cheek color. And this one, I quite like. And it's called Sandstone. And so I'm just gonna put it up here. And I'm gonna put it over here. 
Uh, okay. Can I get to do my lips? It's a little harsh right now, but we just have to take the blush brush and then blend it in. Because we don't need that harsh. I knew when I started wearing makeup that I had a teacher in my high school and he said, oh, because my dad was a teacher too. And oh, Centella's in the color paint by numbers things. And I'm sure sometimes my makeup did look like that. But I've always enjoyed wearing makeup. I've always enjoyed how it can be creative. It can be however you want to express your own style that we can just use a little bit or a lot. So that just pops right up. Now I'm going to just take the same compact on this one. This is a pressing powder and it's just really finely loose. And I just always try and press that under my eyes also. Just some people call it baking. This is really limited, but it just keeps that there because I don't like the dark, dark circles under my eyes so much. So I want to just make sure they stay brighter. Now I'm going to do my eyebrows with this is the eyeshadow products and they are multi-purpose also. So I'll just take this one. It's called Cole. Um, and I use it as my, oh, frig, I use it for my eyeliner. I can use it for my eyebrow. I can use it uh, as a darker shade to for your eyes for more of a smoky look. So you get your eyebrows done. Then I'm going to just put a little bit of an eyeliner. Again, use very, very little. These shades will last you a long time. Uh, the nice thing with these shades in this compact is they're all magnetic. So you just have to take, when we get the, sh the compacts, they come with, meh, for, they come in little tins like this, so they're tins. And so like this would come in a tin like that. And you can keep them in tins in your purse or whatever, but you just pop them in to your compact like that, and you can pop out the tin. And then you can just customize it if you want extras or you go away or whatever, but they just, so they're fully reusable, recyclable. So until your tin runs out, you keep it in there. You can swap out your colors and super, super easy. I'm gonna take the other end of this uh, detail brush and I'm gonna put on Xeon. I'm really into this color right now. It reminds me of sunsets. And um, and just as a nice spring pop of color that is really actually quite subtle. Let's put a lot on there. See, that's not much on the brush at all that you take of per product to get um, your color. I, I really like now that my makeup bag is so small. Like I have a couple brushes I use. I have one tin when I go traveling. I can do everything. Um, I'm gonna put a little cupcake as a highlight up here. Just cause I always like under my brow to be a little bit lighter. And then I'm gonna take my finger with this sparkly one. Um, and it's called Blondie. And we're just gonna tap that on my lid. Give it a little bit of sparkle, a little more depth. It kind of matches my yellow t-shirt today, but not that I want to match my eyes to my clothes. I just like that look. So I'm going to take this brush. It still has some of that coal on it and just do a light line underneath. Just give my bottom lid a little bit of definition. I'll also take that and often use it as a little lip liner to make your lips a little full. I quite like using up my old lipsticks and color. <laughs> I like using up everything. This is a MAC. It was just a little bit of a gloss that you can put over top. And then my look's done. All the other thing I do is put on mascara. And I put on lots of mascara because I don't do the um, the extended lashes or anything. I just can't do them. I tried, I tried, I tried, I tried. Um, and they, 
I said, think I sleep on my face. I think I use too hot of a shower. I do everything wrong. So <laughs> I am just use uh oh the old fashioned mascara and I sometimes put two or three coats on and I sometimes use different brands at the same day. So I put two or three coats on of um, different brands, different wands, and it just gets you a different look. But this day, this one's looking okay. So I'm liking that. There it is. Loving this. <laughs> you do want a color match, just let me know and I will be more than happy to color match you and help you find the colors that work for you so you can have a flawless face and be fabulous as you live in style. So till next time, chat soon. Bye.